twin flame union. That's why we're all here, right? Is to manifest harmonious union with our twin flame. Welcome back. I'm Brianne, Master Certified Ascension Coach with Twin Flames Universe. Today, I want to talk about twin flame union and the process of manifesting that into your life and also provide some clarity around some confusion that I've been seeing and, you know, just people that I've talked to or things that I've seen and twin flame communities. And over Overall, it feels like there's maybe some a bit of confusion of what it takes or what is required to come together physically with your twin flame. And I'm sure many of you, there's a there's an old saying, I don't know if it's just a, a thing that we say here in America or maybe not, but there's a saying that says you can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make him drink. And really what that means is a horse has free will. You can show the horse, you know, where the water is. You can show the horse where the food is. But ultimately, the horse has to put forth effort to bend down to, you know, drink the water, like he has to stick his head, you know, near the water and, and drink the water. You can't actually force him to do that. And if you tried to force him to do that, he'd probably maybe fight you back, who knows what kind of horse you're dealing with. But you get you get the gist of what I'm saying here. And how does this relate to your union? Well, I often find there's this idea in consciousness that, you know, people se seem to think that they they just magically found their twin flame, that they were just going on about their life, you know, doing their thing, that their twin flame just magically appeared. And that in order to have union, that there's some idea that your twin flame is just going to magically appear in your life again, meaning that your union is just going to magically fall in your lap one day. And it seems that the key indicator that's missing here is understanding that you are, we are creating in our life, we are creating in our reality based off of our thoughts, our beliefs, and our desires. So every one of us that have attracted our twin flame into our life, we attracted them because we were desiring a deep, deep love. So our twin flames didn't just like fall into our lap one day. And, you know, you may even be able to look back on your life and, you know, prior to meeting your twin flame, there might have been a pivotal moment in your life where you remember calling them in, calling them in, in your heart, or you remember desiring to meet your one true love. You, you desire desire to be with that person that was for you. There was a desire in your heart. And somewhere along your journey, you chose that desire, you claimed it. For example, you know, throughout my life, I remember a very distinct moment in 2014, where I just felt so lost, and I felt emotionally down and out. And I didn't really understand what my purpose was with my life. I felt, you know, one relationship after another was just kind of a dead end, there was no connection. And and I was deeply desiring something more with my life. And I didn't have, you know, like a, like a purpose to, to have in my life. And I didn't really understand, well, what's the point of being here? What is all of this for? And I remember, you know, praying, praying out to God, you know, help me here. Like there's something not right. I feel lonely. I feel really bad with my life and with myself. And then fast forward a couple years. I, after that, I woke up to, I had a spiritual awakening. I met, you know, at the time of false twin flame. And and everything changed for me, everything shifted. And I began my inner healing work, my inner healing journey. And so in using my experience and my story, I'm sure that there's a time in your life where you just deeply desired something more for your life. And in comes your twin flame to you know, and there's a lot of people that say, you know, my twin flame didn't enter my life at an opportune time. Well, you're right, they didn't. They they come into your life to shake up what is not meant for you so that that can fall away and you can have your heart's dreams and desires. So it's not always going to be an opportune time. It's going to sometimes be at the worst time of your life because a twin flame love is transcendental and it shatters the ego it shatters the illusion that we may be holding on to so if you're watching this video and you've attracted your twin flame into your life or you're aware that you're on a spiritual journey then you already have that desire therefore you are creating in your reality but that creating it doesn't stop once you've met your twin flame there's 
a process that has to be taken. And that process that has to be taken, that requires action. And that action that I'm talking about is not go out and get your twin flame. And the action steps that you take, you're, you're doing your inner healing work. You are investing into yourself. You are identifying your blocks. And the mirror exercise, in my experience, has been the most powerful tool that I've used. And my twin flame and I actually, tomorrow is our four-year harmonious twin flame union anniversary and we still to this day use the mirror exercise on a daily basis because with your togetherness in your twin flame union you're going to naturally trigger one another and so you've got to be able to move through those, through those upsets efficiently and when i say look at blocks and look at your upsets it's not like a surface level thing it's a very deep deep sensitive vulnerable it's really getting very honest with yourself and where you're hurting and those misaligned thoughts or those misaligned uh, beliefs that you have about yourself or maybe about others. You really got to get honest with yourself and you got to look at those uncomfortable places. And then here's another place where people often get stuck as they try to do it alone. You know, as I've shared many of times before, I'm a coach and I've also had a coach since 2017. And it's an invaluable service that I invest into myself and my union with, because without that, there would be blocks that my twin flame and I, we just didn't see, we weren't aware of, and it was detrimental to our union. And so in having that support and that coach that you have that extra set of eyes, they can be like, oh, energetically, there's there's something here. Let's look at that. And every single time, you know, we we identify, oh, there's something here for us to heal. And this feels really bad. And we heal through it and then we're smooth selling forward again. So even in that togetherness with your twin flame, you're going to find that sometimes you both are clouded and you just don't see that there's a block sitting in front of you that's it's it's preventing your union from moving forward. But in having a community, having like-minded people around you that are walking the same path as you, you know, essentially like your brothers and sisters, your friends and your family, they can help point to you like, hey, there's something here. Let's look at that and, and help get you moving forward. This is taking action on your healing. And this is also claiming all of the support that you need in that investment that you're having into yourself. So if you're sitting alone in a corner and you're chipping away very ever so slowly, you know, working your process at looking at your blocks and you're not really experiencing much forward movement in your union or your twin flame just seems to be over there consistently doing their thing and not really making much movement towards you. Well, then you want to look at that. There, there's something there. There must be something deeper because when you get to those blocks, those core blocks within you, and you uproot them, you do experience forward movement. And now when I say that, that doesn't mean that we do the inner work for the result. We do the inner work just simply because we would desire to feel peaceful. And that inner peace that you cultivate within yourself naturally creates forward movement in your reality because that is you as a divine being creating in your reality. There's no control or manipulation in that. That's just identifying within yourself where there's a, a, a lack of movement a lack of energy flow. And as you love yourself there, that energy naturally begins to flow in your reality, in your union. And if you ask yourself, okay, well, I don't know what action step I'm supposed to take. Well, the action step is revealed by your feeling. How do you feel right now? How do you feel in your union? You take action on your inner healing. You take action on claiming your support. And then knowing too that that inner action that you're taking will result in outer action. For example, as I come into Harmonious Twin Flame Union with my twin flame back in 2020, my twin flame was living in Norway while I lived here in the States. And although that we manifested our Harmonious Twin Flame Union internally, and we were, you know, talking on the, on the phone and over Zoom, Zoom calls like all the time, we wanted to be physically together. So that required me to book a plane ticket and fly across the ocean, which I had never done. And I was absolutely terrified to do. And I had to work through a lot of feelings. And once again, my coach helped me with that because I thought, oh my God, I'm going to get on that plane. I'm going to die. I'm going to have a panic attack. I'm going to get sick. I was petrified, but I did it. I took action. I got on one plane after another and I made it to Norway and I spent three years with my twin flame in Norway. We got married and we began the spousal visa process to come and live in America. And here we are today. And that's just a, that's just an example of, you know, what action steps was required in my journey. Like I did the work. I did the 
their inner healing, the inner healing, you know, created a result, but then in that result, I had to do something external. In synopsis of this video, your union is not just going to fall into your lap. You're not looking at the clock and waiting on, you know, let's say in two months from now, I've got a date and I feel like my twin flame and I are going to be in union. Well, yeah, you're going to get hints that your union is manifesting into your reality, but you want to ensure that you're taking action, that you're actively healing your blocks and your upsets. Because if you're just kind of like going on about your day and you're like in this waiting energy of, well, on that day, it's going to happen. Well, then you're going to find that that day gets prolonged and then it gets pushed out even further and pushed out even further. And I say this because I did this. When I first woke up to the twin flame journey, I spent a year and four months doing exactly this. I was, when's that portal coming around? You know, or I would see a date on the clock and I'd be like, oh, so it's going to happen on this day. But I wasn't actually really doing anything to cultivate it in my reality. And so that day would come and nothing would happen and i would be un i would be very upset and all of those upsets led me to seeking support and reaching out for help and then once i got the proper help started utilizing the mirror exercise everything changed very fast so i hope that this video provides clarity and understanding on what actually is happening on your journey you are creating in your reality your dreams and your desires manifested your twin flame into your life but you got to continue going deeper. You got to continue to heal the separation that you're experiencing from them through this process. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.